Hey guys, hope you are doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how to make this amazing Dragon AR app. Now before starting this tutorial, just make sure that you have installed Unity 2017 and Xcode 9. So after you have done that, let's start. So just open Unity and click on new. Now give it any name. I'll just give it AR Dragon Create. Now I use this layout and if you want to follow along and get this layout, just go to window and go to layouts and click on 2x3 and you will get this layout. Now first of all, we have to import the ARKit plugin. So for that, just go to the asset store, window, asset store and I'll just drag it right here. Now just search for ARKit and we are going to get this Unity ARKit plugin. Now just download it and import it. Import. So just go into this folder, Unity ARKit plugin, examples and go to this one, Unity ARKit scene. Just double click and we are going to use this scene as this provides a really good starting point for developing our ARKit application. Now first of all, go to file, click on build settings, click on iOS and click on switch platform. So now I will import the two main things that I need. First one is the dragon and the second one is the fire that the dragon is gonna breathe. So go to Google and just type in free 3D. Now you will get this website. Just type in dragon and I'm going to choose this one. So just download. So it's downloaded and I'll just open it. And then I'll just drag this dragon unity 5 dot unity package. Just drag this right here import so now if you go to assets you will find this black dragon folder now as you can see we have this model and now let's download the fire go to the asset store and type in fire and click on free only now we have to download this particular fire and spell effects so just click on it download and import And now if you go to assets again, you will see this pyro particles folder. So at this point of time, if you run the application and tap on the horizontal surface, what you will see is this cube right here. Now we don't want to see a cube, but we want to see a dragon instead. So what we are going to do is delete this cube and place a dragon in place of this. So go to hit cube parent and you can see this hit cube which is this one. So we are going to delete this and place a dragon in its place. Now before deleting it, just go to the properties of this cube. So as you can see, this script that is Unity AR hit test example script is attached to this cube. Now what this script does is, as soon as you tap the horizontal surface, this places the cube on that horizontal surface. So that's what this script does. So when we delete this cube, and place a dragon instead of this, we have to attach the same script to our dragon as well. So that as soon as we touch the horizontal plane, the dragon is placed on that plane. So let's delete this cube, right click and delete. Now open black dragon and we are going to drag this on this hit cube parent like this. So as you can see, we have this dragon under this hit cube parent. Now we have to attach the script as I told you. So just click on add component and type in AR hit test and just click on this and just drag the hit cube parent and put right here this one. 
Now the dragon seems too large. You can decrease the size of this dragon. I'll just scale it down to 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0 0.3. And I will rotate this dragon by 90 degrees in the y direction. Now, as you can see, we have this dragon right here, but we don't have any shadows of this dragon. So, for getting the shadows, just type here in the search bar shadow and you will get this shadow plane prefab don't select this one this is shadow plane material we have to select this shadow plane prefab so just drag this and put inside this dragon like this such that the shadow plane is the child of this dragon now if you look closely this shadow plane is really small so to make it large make sure it is selected and scale it to 500 500 and 500 and now go to this directional light and go to this shadow type and select soft shadows now as you can see we have these shadows now it's quite dark so i'll just decrease the strength of the shadow from here like this now this looks like a shadow you can also make the quality of this shadow better by changing the resolution from here i'll not change it for now because it takes a lot of processing power now that we have placed the dragon in the scene we will place the fire so just go to assets go to the spiral particles prefabs prefab and here we have different types of fire now the most appropriate one is this flamethrower so i'll just drag this here so i'll just pull this up open this and if i click on flamethrower fire we will see this fire now this flamethrower has two components one is the fire and one is the smoke now to make it easy we are just going to use the fire and delete everything else so just drag this fire out of this continue and just delete this flamethrower right click and delete now we just have this fire now what i'm going to do is attach this fire to the head of this dragon so for that just drop this down go to amateur this one pelvic 2 pelvic 1 neck now what we're going to do is drag this fire on this head like this now i attach this fire as a child to the head because when the dragon will fly that will animate his head as well so we want to animate the fire along with its head and if we don't attach it to the head and we leave it somewhere else so when its head animates the fire will not move along with the head that will make it look very unrealistic that's why i added this on the head and secondly let's just place it physically so i'll just change this angle to minus 90 and place this carefully on the head And also we can change the angle to bend it a little bit downwards so click here and just change the angle like this and now let's change some properties so while this flamethrower is selected 
just go to start speed and make it 10 so as you can see it looks much better now now this tutorial is getting too long we'll continue in the next tutorial